tutorial, we'll be looking at PIP and music tracks, and the audio mixing room. Look at the number of PIP tracks we have, 9, and the number of audio tracks, 3 music and 1 voice track. Let's click Track Manager and have a quick look at the tracks. 9 PIP tracks, we've checked them all, 3 music tracks, we've checked the extra 2, click OK and we continue. Let's now go to the audio mixing room, or you can click F9 on your keyboard. Here we have the audio mixing room displayed. The audio mixing room displays one video track, nine pip tracks, one voice track, and three music tracks. Each of the pip tracks are numbered. Each of the music tracks are similarly numbered. To activate one of the pip tracks, all you need to do is identify the track in which it, the video file has been placed, activate that track, and you have control of the audio where you wish to raise or lower the audio for it. Activate the scroll in timeline and you will reveal the, the video in a larger size and the audio track for it. Stretch it out so it displays in a clearer form. Move the slider into the position you want it to or because you've highlighted the clip you can choose to move the slider in the preview window. When you've identified the point where you want the fade to take place, click the fade out button and the audio will drop. Move the slider back to the position where you want it to and drop the audio again. Repeat the procedure, but in this case we're going to move to the second track. We don't have anything identified as yet, but as soon as we click on the second track video, it is identified here and we have control in the audio mixing room for the second track of the, of the PIP track. We're now in the music tracks and as you can see nothing is active. That's because we haven't highlighted a clip. Track 3 we highlight a clip. Track 3 here we highlight the clip and the controls become active. Move the slider slightly to the right I'm choosing 5 frames because that's a good, f good fade in time. And we click the fade in button and it drops the rubber band of the audio timeline. Move the slider to the right, again to full length so you know the length of the clip. Bring it back 5 frames and we drop it down. We can also drop the music volume by moving the slider down. Check it again to make certain it has the fade out effect. So we have a gradual drop of volume right to the end. Now it's your turn. Off you go. Have a play.